Greetings. So today we are going to take a tray that I purchased at Goodwill and we are going to play with some folk art drizzle spin drip pour paint and I have only done a few things with pour paint but I'm pretty stoked about this project because I picked this little tray up for $4.99 it's very sturdy put a coat of black paint on there and then added a layer of gloss an indoor outdoor gloss paint to the edges and to the bottom and for the bottom I just left it matte I just wanted a nice black background in case my paint didn't make it to a certain corner of the tray so we are using these drizzle slotted strainer tools they come in a three-piece set and I am using the pre-mixed folk art drizzle pour paint. I've got the Cloud 9. I'll be using Tidal Wave Flash. So all of these are flash paints. I'll be using Onyx Flash and Denim Flash. So let's just get started and see where this little adventure takes us. One thing I would recommend is if you are doing pour paint, either have a project that you can turn as you need to to pour your paint or have the ability to work on it from all sides. So let's just get started. We are going to start by pouring some white in this one. I'm not going to be using a lot of white, but I just think it's always nice to have white or white or yellow in different things that I do. So I think we will go with the darker blue first. And let's just pour that in till we get some action happening. Now the first time that I did this, while I do like to add white, I will tell you, I feel like I added too much white on my first project. So if you are experimenting with pour paint, you might, you know, just grab a few things that you don't really, don't really worry about and use those surfaces to just do some experimenting of your own, which is exactly what I did. I experimented for one full day just doing all kinds of different, of different projects. I never got the blue in that one, did I? Well, that's fine. Let's just add it now, and that'll just add a different, little different element. And I think I'm going to add the black back one more time. Okay. So now let's add this blue in there. I think we're going to layer it one more time in in that same order so let's grab our white you know the really I have enjoyed this so much the really great thing about this is that there's so many different effects that you can get out of this and and I I've read a lot about how relaxing these projects can be and I you know I believe it I just 
I had planned on working for a few hours yesterday morning before the heat set in and I ended up spending all day playing <laughs> playing with this poor paint. So I have to say, if you are looking for something relaxing to do, this is a great, great project. So I'm just letting it sit there for a minute, just being a little patient to see to see what is happening here. Okay, so that was my white. Now we're gonna get back with this denim. I'm not gonna add quite as much to this one. And let's just give it a second to see kind of what's happening on its own. So there's the denim. Now I need the black. And now we are going to remove these. And we are just going to I'm just removing them to a cup of water, but we're going to lift them really quickly and straight up. One, two, and three. Okay, so I just gave those a really quick rinse. I you know the colors don't bother me. I just wanted to make sure I had all that water off of them as much as anything. So let's do this real quick before I want to get in here and get this done so that my paint doesn't set up. And I just splosh that little bit, but that's okay. You'll never notice it when this project is done. So we're going to do a little bit of the denim. A little bit of the denim. Denim. Okay. So we gotta lift these puppies back up one more time. Let's do this one first. Let's put in some water. Let's do this guy. Oh. Yeah, no, it's just not splashing it. All right, now let's move this puppy around a little bit. So I went inside and grabbed a skewer and we are just modifying this a little bit and I really like, again, you know, there's no wrong way to really do this. You just keep playing with it until you, until you get it to where you want it. I love the way that just dragging that through just makes this beautiful, beautiful design. Okay, so we had a little pour paint, we had our drizzle tools, 
we had a skewer. I just love it. But I really feel like with this paint, especially since it's pre-mixed, and I don't have to worry about mixing a thing, all I have to do <laughs> is put it on here. Oh, what an easy project. I hope that if you decide to do a project like this, that you will share the results with me. And let me know if you enjoyed it because I absolutely just loved working with these paints. If you would like to see more crafty content, I would love for you to take a moment and subscribe to my channel. And maybe while you're at it, follow me on Facebook or Instagram where I'm trying to grow my communities. So until next time, you know what? Get out there and try something new. Get out there and try something new. Make it fun, make it yours, and just enjoy the process. Until next time. Bye-bye.